guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with the next episode of Six Small Businesses You Should Know. And I apologize because I am a little bit delayed in getting this one uh, posted and up for you guys. But this week, we are focusing on Catherine Pooler, and she has a company that makes some amazing stamps and ink pads, and I think she also has dye, like for the dye cutting machines. Um, but I'm going to be focusing on the inks and the stamps. And so when we were at Creativation, Sarah and I both got to spend some time with the ladies in the Catherine Pooler booth, and we were both really excited about not just about the inks, but also about the different stamp options that they had. And so I am using a pattern builder stamp today. And so this particular stamp, I will put a link to it down below, um, was illustrated by Tracy Reed, who is also one of my favorites. And so it's really cool because this stamp set builds upon itself. So you can create an entire patterned background because all the shapes and things inside it fit together. And so even though I'm not using that functionality today, that was part of the reason that I purchased this particular stamp set. So what I did there is I used the stamp set to kind of create a border on one of the pages in my traveler's notebook. So this is that same notebook that I've been using for each one of the projects that I have created during this six small businesses series. And so what I did is I took some black ink from Alta New and I stamped it along the edge of my traveler's notebook page, like directly in my traveler's notebook. And then you saw me take my scissors and I went ahead and fussy cut along that edge so that I'm going to have on this particular page this little bit of a different edging onto the page. And I really love how that turned out and it's gonna give you just a peek of the layout behind. So if you've been watching this whole series, you know that I've kind of been creating some interactive elements and some places where you see through from one page to the next. So then I also took this diamond stamp and this came from that same stamp set and I'm gonna use that to be an embellishment cluster on the top left edge of my photo. And so I was trying to decide if I wanted to use this Aquatini color or if I wanted to use the black. So I went ahead and stamped them both. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut them and I'll end up picking which, whichever one that I end up wanting to use. And so I do play kind of around with both of them. And like I said, in this stamp set, you can create an entire quilted background because all of these shapes do fit and nestle inside each other. So even though you're not going to see that here in this particular project, they do have that functionality. They will do that. And I have used the Aquatini ink, which is this real vibrant aqua color throughout all of this notebook so far. So you kind of can see some of it peeking through from the other side right now um, as well. So I'm going to use this little one with the aqua border to create a little embellishment cluster. So I've grabbed my here and there collection, which is what I'm kind of using throughout this entire notebook. And I've added a little airplane at the t on, directly on top of that. And then I have a little tag in blue that says explore your world. And that worked out perfectly because my son is wearing a blue shirt. And so I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that I want to add there. And then I'm thinking about putting that other diamond down at the bottom, but it doesn't end up making the cut. Um, so as I'm kind of going through all of these embellishments, I'm just thinking about what's going to work with the rest of the design that I have going throughout this notebook. So you are going to see these same elements repeated again. So the same styles of stamping, some of the same here and there collection, the same stamp set from Catherine Pooler and the ink pads will show up again later in the video. Uh, do remember to make sure that you check out both Sarah and my channels and our blogs and leave us comments. Make sure you're following and subscribing um, because we are going to do a huge giveaway at the end of this series of six small businesses. And so this is our third one. So we're about halfway through. Um, but we are going to give away a prize box of goodies, um, something from each one of the six companies. And so you definitely don't want to miss out. You want to be entered to win that one. Um, so I went back and I used this word travel from the here and there sticker sheet and I apologize for my head in the screen but I'm trying to make sure that I have my letters here on my acrylic block the way I want them to be. And then I'm going to grab that Aquatini ink and I'm going to stamp with that and so I've just written out, written out the word style and so I'm using those same um, stamps from Artist Gather that I used in a previous video and on some previous pages. And so then I'm just going to tuck in this photo of my son and let that sticker kind of travel over the edge. 
And so the title for this little spread is going to be Travel Style. And it's just talking about him. This was him kind of laid out on the floor in the airport getting ready for us to go on this trip to Boston. And it's a really good representation because he has a lot of his favorite travel things. So we've got his backpack and his electronics. He wanted a special soda because he doesn't usually get to drink soda. So he gets to have that on the airplane. And then he has his little stuffy with him. And so it's really a great snapshot of his kind of travel style, the things that he takes with him when we travel. And so then I went back to the rub on sheet and I found these little cluster of arrows. And I'm going to go ahead and add those. And I have one cluster down by my title, and then I'm going to add one cluster up in the top by where that little embellishment grouping is going to be. And so those are just, I think it's like four little hand-drawn looking arrows. And I do like how in the bottom of the page so far, my little shaker pocket that I made in the last video is fitting perfectly with the bottom of this layout. I am likely going to go back and add some journaling down there, just talking about his travel style. But for right now, I'm really loving how everything kind of is working together throughout this notebook. And that's one of the benefits of working with these stamp spot notebooks, that you can have these different kind of see-through and interactive elements. And I'm really loving that, that difference. I am going to grab some of these little cork mini stars, and these are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I'm just going to put one by my title and then one by my embellishment cluster up at the top. And that's basically going to do it for this particular spread. So definitely tune back in. Check out the blog post that goes with this as well. I'm going to leave some links down below to the different ink pads, so the Aquatini, and then I also showed you Party Dress in the beginning, which is another one that I purchased, which is that bright magenta. And then I'll also leave a link to this particular stamp set. I am going to be using this stamp set again. So if you are into creating some patterns or some quilted stamping backgrounds, definitely check out that stamp set. It would be super fun if you kind of played along with us. And do make sure you leave comments on both mine and Sarah Scrap's channels as well as our blog posts so that you can be entered to win that amazing giveaway from all of our favorite small businesses right now. And we will see you again soon. Have a great day.